Welcome back to 242 Matt. I am your host Raphael Thompson and last week we looked at the topic of LCM. Today we will be examining the HCF, the highest common factor or the greatest common factor. So we don't want to get them confused. That's why I took one week for LCM and now this week we're looking at HCF because they're easily confused and we don't want that because for both of them um, you can list and then you can do prime factorization. So let's begin with a typical word problem. And here we go. Kim makes some fruit baskets. She has eight apples and 12 bananas. What is the greatest number identical fruit baskets she can make without having any remaining fruit? So the number of fruit baskets would be the HCF of eight and 12. So that's what we will examine first. Now we need to know what are factors. And factors are numbers that can be multiplied together to get another number. So if you say two times three is six, factors of six are two and three. Or factors are numbers or algebraic expressions that produce a given product when multiplied. Okay, so let's move on from there. Once we know what factors are, let's go back to where we had the word problem and list the factors of eight. So the factors of 8, if you list them, begins with 1, 1, 2, 4, and 8. 1 is always a factor of any number. So those numbers can be divided into 8 without a remainder. That's why they are factors of 8. Now let's look at the factors of 12. We're going back to the word problem. Factors of 12. What are the factors of 12? Remember, begin with 1. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. All of those numbers can be divided into 12 without a remainder, or the remainder is 0. So let's pull them back up. So we have 8, and the factors of 8, 1, and you'll see why I have the numbers in green. And then we have 12, factors 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, and in green. What do you think those numbers are? Yes, those numbers I, um, would identify the common factors of 8, and 12, 1, 2, and 4. Now once we know what the common factors are, all you have to do is look at the numbers and pick the highest number or the greatest number. Which one is the highest? 1, 2, and 4. For 8 and 12, the highest common factor is 4. So that's the highest number that can be divided into 8 and 12 without a remainder. Let's go back to the original word problem. Remember, you had the baskets, you wanted to make identical baskets of fruit. So the answer would be, she would have to make four, she would be able to make four fruit baskets and each basket would have two apples and three bananas. So that's the answer for the word problem. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Factors. What are the factors of six? And we are listing them first. What are the factors of six? Do it quickly. Let's remember you begin with one. 1 is a factor of every number. So start with 1, look at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And let's see which of those numbers are factors of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we go. Definitely 1 is a factor. 2 is a factor. 2 can go into 6 3 times. 3 is a factor. 3, 2 is a 6. And 6 is a factor. 6 into 6 goes 1 time. So those numbers are factors of 6 and we listed them with commas. Now number two, what are factors of 10? So, um, remember again, you begin with one. So you're looking at the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which of those numbers can be divided into 10 without a remainder? What are the factors of 10? Remember, you will begin with one. Then you look at two, three, four, and so on. Then you can identify the numbers that are factors. And here we go. The factors of 10, starting with 1, 1, 2, 2 into 10, 5, 5 into 10, 2, 10 into 10, 1. So 1 to 5 and 10 are factors of 10, and I just listed them with commas in between. 3. What are the factors of 15? Remember, you begin with 1, so you're looking at the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Which of those numbers are factors of 15? So that means they can be divided into 15 without a remainder, or the remainder is zero. We are listing the factors of 15. Remember, you always begin with one. Here we go. 15, 5 
factors 1, 3, 5, 15. All of those numbers can be divided into 15. And that's it. Factors of 15, you listed them. Number 4, Roman numeral. What are the factors of 18? And you notice as the numbers get higher, it gets a bit harder. So that's why there's another way to find the HCF than listing factors. But that's what we're doing, so let's list them. What are the factors of 18? Remember, you're looking at the numbers from 1 to 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Which of those numbers are factors of 18? Here we go. Remember, you begin with 1. So it's 1, 2 is a factor, 3, 6, 9, and 18. So there you have it. Six factors of 18, and we listed them. And number five, the last one, what are the factors of 24? So again, you're looking at the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 24. Factors would have to be the number itself or lower. Okay, and so the factors of 24 begin with 1. and see if you can list all of the rest. There would be quite a number of them for 24. So you start with 1, yes, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 6, and 8, and 12, and 24. So a whole lot of them, factors of 24. They can be divided into 24 without a remainder. Now, let's get into determining the HCF of two numbers by listing factors. So let's practice what we just did. Find the HCF of 8 and 12. And first, we list the factors of 8, 1, 2, 4, and 8. And the numbers in blue, you'll see why they are in blue in a minute. Factors of 8, 1, 2, 4, and 8. Factors of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The numbers in blue are what? Yeah, they are the common factors of 8 and 12. 1, 2, and 4 are the common factors of 8 and 12. Then identify the highest common factor or the greatest common factor and that number is 4. So from 1, 2, and 4 the greatest number is 4. That's the it's here. Now let's do it by using prime factorization. So first we factorize 8. We get 2 into 8 is 2 into 4 and then 2 into 2. We get 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the power 3 in index form. 2 to the power 3, 2 times 2 times 2. Those are your fac prime factors for the prime factorization of 8. Now let's do it for 12. So we divide 2 into 12, then 2 into 6, then 3 into 3, and once you get 1, you stop. And let's show the prime factorization for 12. It's 2 times 2 times 3, or 2 to the power of 2 times 3 in index form, 2 squared times 3. And there you are, both of them in index form. And we have to look for common factors. So 2 is common to 8 and 12, and we choose 2 times 2. So the common factors for 8 and 12 would be 2 times 2. We just choose one of them. 3 isn't common, so we can't use the 3. So the highest common factor would be 2 squared, 2 times 2, 4. That's it. So that's how you use prime factorization to find the highest common factor. Now let's go back to um, listing factors and let's find the HCF of 10 and 25 by listing the factors. So let's first list the factors of 10 and those factors for 10, remember it begins with 1, 1, 2, 5, and 10. Those numbers can be divided into 10 without a remainder. So those are your factors of 10. We listed them. Let's list the factors of 25, 1, 5, and 25. Numbers in blue, what are they? Common factors of 10 and 25. The common factors of 10 and 25 are 1 and 5. They are common. Then look at them, the common factors, and pick the higher number. And the highest common factor, therefore, is 5. And that's the HCF for 10 and 25. Let's move on to number 3. Find the HCF of 10 and 25 by prime factorization. So we're dealing with the same number, so we know what the answer will be. So let's factorize 10. And if you factorize 10, you get 2 times 5 when you do the division bracket. So 10 is 2 times 5, and then we factorize 25 um, using prime factorization, and it's 
for 25, it would be divided by 5, 5 and 25, 5, 5 and 5, 1, you stop. So the prime factorization of 25 is 5 times 5 or 5 squared in index form. Remember, index form is, is that term, and don't get mixed up with it. So HCF of 10 and 12, 10 is 2 times 5, 25 is 5 times 5. Which factors are common? Let's circle. Put a circle to identify the common factor, and there's only one. The one common factor is 5. So this one is straightforward. So since that's the only common factor, the HCF must be 5 using the prime factorization method. Now let's go back, let's list the factors of these numbers and let's make sure you can do that first. So 3, the first one is 3, list the factors of 3. So you look at 1, 2 and 3 and decide which of those numbers are factors of 3. Remember 1 would always be in there once you're listing the factors. Go to number 2 which is 7, again do the same thing list the factors of 7. Always begin with 1. So you're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Which of those numbers are factors of 7? When you divide it into 7, you do not get a remainder. And number 3 is 9. Look at 9, and you want to list the factors for 9. And you'll always begin with 1, 1. Look at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 which of those numbers can be divided into 9 without a remainder and then list those numbers, write them down with commas in between. Go to number 4. Remember as the numbers get bigger it will get harder. So list the factors of 14, you be begin with 1, 1 is a factor of every number, 1, then look at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, which of those numbers are factors of 14 can be divided into 14 without a remainder. Let's look at the answers and let's see if you got them all correct. Remember the first one was 3. 3 is a prime number so prime numbers only have two factors 1 and the number itself. So that's straightforward. I hope you got that correct. Yeah 3 is a prime number. And number 2 7. 7 is also a prime number so it only has two factors 1 and 7. That's the definition of a prime number two factors, one and the number itself. Nine is not a prime number, so the factors for nine, you list them, would be one, three, and nine. So those numbers can be divided into nine, and then 14 is one, two, seven, and 14. Now let's determine the HCF of two numbers by listing the factors, so let's practice. Find the HCF of six and eight. So first you must list the factors of six. What are the factors of 6? Write them down quickly. Remember, you're looking at, begin with 1. You're looking at the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then list the factors of 8. Begin with 1, comma, and then look at the rest of the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Which of those numbers are factors of 8? And you're listing them. Once you have done that, then you identify the common factors of 6 and 8. 1 would always be a common factor from the listing and then put the rest of the common factors and then once you have identified the common factors you choose the highest common factor or the greatest common factor of 6 and 8. Okay, So let's see if you can get that done and here you go factors of 6, 1, 2, 3 and 6, factors of 8, 1, 2, 4 and 8, the common factors are 1 and 2, yeah, now that's easy from there, which one is the highest common factor, pick it, yeah, the highest common factor would be 2, that's the highest common factor of 6 and 8, so that's how you can determine it by listing. Now, let's do it by using prime factorization. We are finding the prime factors and then we will find the HCF. So let's do the division brackets. 2 into 6, divide, divide until you get 1, then stop, then divide 2 into 8, 2 into 8, and then divide again, divide again, divide until you get 1, then stop. Then once you've done your division, you, you would give me the prime factorization for 6 and the prime factorization 
for 8. Remember, you're writing the prime factors for each number. And then you would give me the common factors or the common factor for each number for 6 and 8, the common factor of 6 and 8. And one, the common factor, common factors of 6 and 8. And once you've done that, you will identify the highest or greatest common factor. And that would be our answer, the HCF of 6 and 8. So let's see if you can do that quickly and come up with an answer for that. Here you go. So if you did the division 2 into 6, 3, 2 into 3, 1, stop, 2 into 8, 4, 2 into 4, then 2 into 2, 1, stop. So for 6, it would be 2 times 3. That's And for 8, it'll be 2 times 2 times 2, or in index form, 2 to the power 3. 2, 2 would be a common factor, and which one you use? It's 6 has 1, 2, and 8 has 3, 2. You only use 1. The highest common factor is 2. Okay, let's move on and let's see. Write the numbers you have to multiply or the factors to get the HCF. So I've already did the division for you with the prime factorization for you. You just have to show me what factors you will multiply to get the HCF. So look at 36, look at 90. What factors are common and then identify um, the numbers you would multiply. Number 2, 40 and 60. I've done the prime factorization for you. So look at those two numbers and decide what factors are common and then show me the factors for those two numbers. Number 3, 63 and 90. Again, look at the numbers, identify the common factors and then Show me what you would multiply to find the HCF. So don't give me the answer, the HCF. I just want you to show me the numbers you would multiply to get it or the factors for it. Number four, 24 and 54. Do the same thing here. Show me the numbers you will multiply to get the HCF. So don't show me the HCF. Just show me the, the factors that you would multiply first. Show me the factors. 24 and 54. I've already done the prime factorization for you. And number five, three numbers, 90, 45, and 54. Same thing. Doesn't matter if it's two numbers or more. You do the same thing to find HCF. Identify the common factors. And then show me what numbers you would multiply to get the HCF for those three numbers. Okay, let's go back to number one, 36 and 90. What numbers will you multiply to get the HCF? Yeah, one number, 36 is two times two. 90 is just two. So you have to use two, the, the least amount. And then 3 times 3 is common. So when you have to write that out, for 2, you would use 2. And for 3, you would use 3 times 3. So your factors would be 2 times 3 times 3. Number 2, 40 and 60. What factors are common? Look at the 2s. And you choose the, the smaller amount, the least amount for the 2s. 5 is also common. So the factors would be 2 times 2 times 5 and use 1 5. Number 3, 63 and 90. What prime factors are common? Yes, 3 is common and 3 times 3 is what we need. There's a 3 times 3 for 63 and for 90. 4, 24 and 54 and 2 and 3 are common. So what would we use for the 2 and what would we use for the 3? Remember, use the least amount. So for 2, the, prime, the common prime factors are 2 and 3. So the factors would be 2 times 3. Just use 1, 2 times 3. Final one. And we want to find the factors. What numbers you would multiply to get the HCF for 90, 45, and 54. The common prime factor, there's only one common prime factor is 3. There's 3 in each of those and look at it you use the smallest amount the common prime factor there's only one common prime factor is three there's three in each of those and look at it you use the smallest amount and that would be three times three we want you to find the hcf for four and eight remember when you're using um, small numbers like this you can list the factors and do it but we will do it by prime factorization because that's the the one you may need to use for the when you have a, the bigger numbers. And for 4 and 8, you can just use the listing. You'll still get the same answer. Okay, so do it with whatever way you want, but I will do it prime factorization. Here we go. 
you should have an answer by now for 4 and 8 the highest common factor so I did the prime factorization 4 is 2 times 2 or 2 squared in index form and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the power 3 in index form 2 cubed in index form so look at the factors what will be used 2 is common what will be used for the 2 remember you want to use this the least number of 2's and it's 2 times 2 2 times 2 is common to 4 and 8 and the answer would be 4 so the HCF for those numbers would be 4. Now, if you're dealing with a factor tree, you can still calculate the HCF by looking at the last limb, where you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and 3 times 3 times 2 times 3, and the HCF for 24 and 54 would be 2 times 3 or 6. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And remember, don't get mixed up with HCF and LCM.